welcome to the History Law Channel. You join us here just opposite St Bartholomew's Hospital in the City of London. As you may have just heard, there's some building work going on just behind us, so we're going to do a few shots here and then we're going to go in, find somewhere and do a voiceover for those shots. We're going to be talking about the Golden Boy of Pie Corner. Oh, and Cock Lane as well. Welcome to London. So as promised, again, we've moved away from the construction outside St Bartholomew's and we're here in Spa Fields, just north of St Bart's Hospital. And we're talking today about the golden boy of Pie Corner. He's a little lad who's up there, a tale of gluttony. Now it's said that uh, the Great Fire of London was caused by the sin of gluttony. People cite this because it started in Pudding Lane and it finished at Pie Corner. If you believe that, I think you'd believe anything. Now the Great Fire of London started on the 2nd of September 1666 and there's lots of people who say it was a papist plot. In fact, that was the wording that's put on the bottom of the monument, which is quite near the, where the fire started in Pudding Lane. It was actually started by accident, not on purpose, by a man called Thomas Farnier who was a baker at number 3 Pudding Lane. They actually got a confession out of a French papist supporter called Robert Hubert and it was ironic that one of the members of the jury that convicted Hubert was Fernier himself, the man who started the fire. But let's go back to the golden boy of Pie Corner. The figure of the golden boy was actually first put on a pub called the Fortunes of War at Pie Corner. Now, the Fortunes of War was notorious in the 18th and 19th century for resurrectionists, body snatchers. They were right by St Bartholomew's Hospital and they had a ready-made customer base for those who needed to dissect bodies. The reason the Resurrectionists made so much money, before the Anatomy Act of 1832, the only bodies allowed legally to be cut up for dissection and for medical research were those of the hanged, executed and orphans, would you believe? How cruel is that? But in 1832 the Act was passed and people could actually leave their bodies to medical science and research. The Fortunes of War pub is also infamous in LGBT history. In 1761, a man called Thomas Andrews was arrested and convicted for sodomy, homosexuality being illegal in this country until 1967. But, believe it or not, in 1761, King George III, who was new to the throne by about a year, gave Thomas Andrews a pardon. It was the first time that homosexuality was properly discussed in this country. Let's go back to the Golden Boy. The Golden Boy is now on a building that is a Grade 2 listed building and the only reason it has its listing is because of the little cherub on there. He used to have wings, they have long since gone, but he's now on a very nondescript building. He's on the corner of Giltspur Street. Now Giltspur Street gets its name because that's where the spurs, the knight spurs were made and they were gilded in gold, hence Giltspur Street. It's on the corner of Giltspur Street and Cock Lane. Cock Lane in Smithfield. Everyone thinks Cock Lane is associated with poultry. Sadly not. It was the only place in the City of London where prostitution was legal. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed our video then please do subscribe. And if you want to know when videos are being uploaded there's a little notification bell just below. And if you want to see what we do outside of these videos then please go to historylord.co.uk and follow us there and see about our walking tours of London. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.